In my first video about the hoverboard, I have showed uh, this wheel and that wheel. And perhaps it's interesting to show what happened further. Uh, this hoverboard motor moved very gently and good, so it's com completely free. And uh, this motor uh, was stuck completely. And this hoverboard was in water for I don't know how many days, perhaps 10, perhaps 5, I don't know, perhaps more, because everything is corroded here. You can see it here, very much corroded. So uh, that means that this is completely stuck. I think it has been in the water for a month or so. That's my idea. But anyway, uh, I can show here how beautifully this motor was made. Here are a lot of coils all wound uh, with three or four parallel wires uh, to get to the right amperage to make that a high current can flow. And of course each coil plays a part and there must be somewhere here inside uh, magnet, uh, magnets, magnets because otherwise there will be no uh, movement. And here we have all the wiring and it shows that uh, perhaps, I don't know that exactly, all these coils were uh, driven separately or certain parts of coils were driven separately to make that uh, wheel move. Here are the electronics, by the way, that did the job. Of course, uh, I don't have a schematic. I cannot repair this. Such a repair would be would be far too costly, and I only will salvage. Uh, valuable components out of these boards, Pre uh, MOSFETs, etc., etc., or good quality electrolytic capacitors, and furthermore, all is service mounted device SMD components, and they are not easy to solder out, but anyway, it's possible. So, here we, here we have completely stuck motor. This moves freely and everything is stuck. But anyway, it shows how it, this beautiful motor was made. And here we have, of course, exactly the same situation. But here the motor is okay. And I will uh, test it and try to get it functional by uh, giving the motor its proper voltage and perhaps it's usable. It can be used as a generator, for instance as a wind generator with some propellers instead of that uh, wheel that rubber wheel, and perhaps it's possible to generate some energy um, to use this circuit as a wind generator. When I look in general about how this was made with all these coils and magnetic influences, magnets, I think it's possible. 
but of course I have to test it. Uh, for instance, uh, by moving the wheel and uh, test it on voltage and current, etc. AC current, of course, etc.